The other day I almost posted a video about totalitarianism and about how uh, totalitarianism can look a lot like fascism sometimes and the way I said it would have been poorly worded and um, that's why I need a team and I don't need to be working by myself because if I hadn't had some errors in that video I probably would have got it done real quick and uh, I might have posted it without fully uh, thinking about the implications of that video because uh, you know, a war can break break out any time if you're already almost there. And uh, the thing about them Chinos is, is they've been itching for a war for a long time. But they've also not been, but they've always been pretty crazy about it. All right, the reason I'm back, I need to talk about my history of polyamory. So I talked about how I, at one point, wanted to be with Taylor Swift, Katy Perry and Beth. And then I didn't know Beth was actually Lizzie Grant. And then eventually I found out Beth was Lizzie Grant. So at that point I wanted to be with Taylor Swift, Lizzie Grant, and Zoe Deschanel. It turned out Zoe Deschanel was not Zoe Deschanel. She was actually Miley Cyrus. And so that's what, or the person I thought was Zoe Deschanel. Anyway, so I know it's crazy because Zoe's old, older, uh, but um, what, it, what, what, what actually, in reality, like I don't care what your age is because uh, you can change a person's age. All right, so um, then they told me that this girl off uh, Degrassi was this person, and that we we were like my, my polyamorous relationship was bigger, but it was actually it might have been this girl Amy first, which I don't even know her last name. Um, she's from Canada, and she is from that uh, TV show uh, Channel One or something like that. Uh, and she's probably in a movie with um, Amy Forsyth is her name. And uh, thanks, Ken Jennings. All right, so um, then, uh, cause I, and I thought that Amy was the one that was a, uh, someone that uh, was both man and woman, was non-binary, but had m male inclinations and was the reason that I'm actually identified as a gay person. And so um, at that point I did start identifying buying as homosexual, even though I'm, I've never fully identified as homosexual because if you're identifying as a man, but then I want your vagina, then I probably am actually straight. So no matter what, I'm a transgender metrosexual that craves vaginas. Um, but it, it don't mean that I, I don't accept you. If you're a man, you can be a man and I will treat you as a man and I will completely accept the fact that I'm a homosexual. All right. So, um, I, then I thought it was, I watched Degrassi and I thought that that show was written by this gay guy I know who I've been friends with for a really long time who I had a gay petting type experience as a small child you know children have gay experiences I think I think it's pretty normal and um, and so I, but that, that wasn't why I liked him I liked him because we were we've been friends forever and he'd been multiple people because a lot of these people like they grew up we all grew up together we moved together they changed their names they changed their families I didn't they changed cities. They didn't always live in the same city. Um, some stayed, some went. Um, so, um, yeah, I thought that that guy had switched out. I, I mean, because there are men also that I, I, there, there are people that I think, there are a lot of people I think are different people. But what I'm talking about is my imaginary polyamorous relationship. So at that point, I thought I was, I, I decided to add this girl from Degrassi. I don't even know her name at all. Uh, Sarah, is it? I don't even know. All right, so um, she was gonna be part of the team too. Cause I was like, all right, that's cool. Um, I'm down with that, she's pretty good looking. Um, but um, I was never really emotionally attached because let's face it, once you, once you start getting those uh, big numbers, um, you start um, spreading yourself thin a little bit. And I, But I was still okay with that. I was like, well, everyone likes each other. Uh, maybe like I'll like fall in love with people over and over again. I'll like have like the, like a, a constantly falling in love with people experience if I have four partners. Uh, then I uh, found out I don't know who I found out about what. So at that point, they were like, what? I think Katy Perry was already gone at that point. And it was Lizzie Grant was still in there. Taylor Swift was probably gone because, yeah. Oh, oh, and then there's the girl, Alex Daddario, uh, who I thought was my best friend, um, who I had agreed to marry her. If we didn't get married by the age of 30, we would, we would get married. And we're both over 30. So I've kind of already made that agreement. But um, I don't know if it's actually her. And you never know who's who, but... Um, yeah, so it's, this is a really confusing story. So basically, uh, now I'm down to Miley Cyrus. That's pretty much it. And if I'm wrong, that'd be pretty disappointing. But um, if I'm right, 
you never know how it's going to work out. Um, I know everyone's kind of disappointed about Lizzie Grant, but not everyone is. Um, personally, I feel bad about the situation because I, I feel like she she really knew for a long time with that with that with that new album when she came out. You know, uh, God Bless America album. It, it, she really hit me real hard with that one. Um, you know, Taylor hit me harder with her album though, but because Taylor's album was like talking about the getaway car because I was trying to get her to be in a relationship with Katy Perry. She didn't want to be in that relationship. Um, and she wanted me for herself. And apparently uh, it just never worked out that way in my mind, uh, even though she's the funnest person ever. Her and I have had a blast. We did Christmas and Halloween once. Or, you know, we did we did Halloween in July where we like started trick-or-treating and everyone was so confused why we were trick-or-treating. It was actually a pretty funny experience. And then her car broke down. Then we were wearing funny outfits and broken down in the middle of the road. And yeah, so she, she's she's a nice person. It's just, um, I don't know, it's just she never really clicked with me. Like her heart never clicked in my heart. And so uh, I want someone that clicks with me and that's why I like Miley. <laughs>